Hello everyone, thank you for tuning into my channel. Today I'm coming to you with a video about how I co-wash my hair. Now this video has been requested many, many, many times, but I have a difficult time getting videos to you where I have to show you how I wash my hair or anything like that because it's really cumbersome and I don't have the best lighting in my bathroom, but I worked it out for you guys today. So, as I just shown you, I'm using the new Shea Moisture Co-Wash Conditioning Cleanser and I wet my hair in the sink with just water, got it really saturated and what I'm doing here is sectioning my hair off using butterfly clips because I want to make this easier for me to manage and my hair is so much easier to manage in sections. So I am using one section of the four that I will be co-washing in and I'm applying about, I would say a half dollar size amount of the co-wash conditioning cleanser. And because this is a co-wash cleanser, I am going to mainly apply it to the hair and then I will use my fingertips to massage my scalp. And for those of you who are wondering what is the purpose of doing a co-wash and um, how often should they be done and some basic questions like that, a co-wash is simply washing your hair with conditioner only and up until I would say about um, early last year, not that many companies even had products that were called co-wash. So many naturals, myself included, would use conditioner and we washed our hair with the conditioner and no shampoo at all and this deemed the term co-wash, which is a conditioner wash. Now, of course, because us naturals are dominating mainstream media, a lot of companies have caught on and they are making co-washes. Um, Shea Moisture has a co-wash, We Dad has a co-wash, As I Am has a co-wash, Soft and Free Nothing But has a co-wash, and I'm sure there's a bunch of other companies that have them as well. However, those are the ones that I've used personally in my hair. So when you co-wash, you can do them as often as you want. The main thing to remember with co-washing is co-wash cleansers or conditioners are not capable of getting heavy ingredients off of your hair such as petroleum, mineral oil, especially silicones. So if you find that you're using products with those ingredients in them, it is best to at least shampoo with the sulfate once a month just to get your scalp and your hair rid of any buildup. However, if you prefer to use products that don't have those ingredients in them and tend to be much more on the natural side, then co-washing is actually a great way to cleanse your hair and to keep your hair moisturized. Um, so basically, after I section off every section and co-wash my hair, I will be rinsing it out and then I moisturize after. And that's pretty much it. You can co-wash in the shower, out of the shower, however you feel. You can detangle with your co-wash cleanser in your hair or you can detangle first, you can detangle after. It's completely up to you. For me personally, I love doing my co-wash with my hair loose. Please subscribe to my channel. I put out videos every couple of days. If you have any questions, leave them below. And as always, I love you for watching. Bye.